Gainology! Gainology! I'm Eric Q, representing Anabolic Aliens. Alright, so today, we're gonna figure out what is the real difference between dumbbell shrugs and barbell shrugs. So the major differences between the barbell and the dumbbell shrug is one, the barbell shrug allows you to use more weight most of the time. As you see in one of our earlier videos, me and Mike are doing reps with 405 pounds, whereas maybe in your gym, like our shitty gym, or this gym, where the dumbbells go up to 60 as opposed to 125. But on the barbell, you can load up as much until it literally snaps in half. What have I said so far? So it's like... So the barbell shrug, there's a few things you'll notice. So when I go up with the weight, the weight's going to sit in front of me, so I'm at a mechanical disadvantage as opposed to going back with the bar. It's going to be very difficult. So when I pull her back, you can't really move that much. As opposed to forward, we can go all the way up. So then one of the main differences with the barbell shrug is when you're shrugging with a barbell, your shoulders are going to tend to come forward like this, right? So essentially you're being hunched over, and your neck's like this, as opposed to straight up and back. Because your traps actually run down your entire back. Alright, so the difference with the dumbbell shrugs is when you bring them up to your sides, you're at no mechanical disadvantage. They're not in front of you, so you're not hunched over. They're not behind you, so you're leaning just back, but they're by your sides. So from here, we can go straight up in a line all the way to your ears. And it doesn't really even matter how fast you move them, to be honest. I've done shrugs like I'm on freaking some sort of cocaine. You can do them slow. The best way to do it is to vary them. It's like training calves. Sorry for a different day. I don't have any. <laughs> Key points when doing shrugs. Arms straight. You want to isolate the muscle. It's not a compound movement by any stretch of the imagination. So, what do I mean? With a barbell. Grip it right outside your hips, drive up, flex your triceps so you keep your arms straight, and then you're just going to shrug up just using your traps. And so the thing is, what might happen is your grip might get tired if you're holding some heavy ass dumbbells or a barbell. Chances are you're not going to be able to shrug 500 pounds raw with a double overhand grip. So how do I like to incorporate these in my workout? Well, at the end of my shoulder workout, I will do... 10 sets of 20 repetitions of shrugs, superset it with a different exercise, whether that's lateral raises or front raises or some sort of other shoulder movement to exhaust my shoulders. That way my traps can do all the work on the shrug city. So the main difference between the two, or differences I guess, is that the barbell you can use a lot more weight than you can at your normal gym with their size dumbbells, which go up to 125 in my gym, but you can smack as many plates as you want on the barbell. Number two, the dumbbells by your side with the dumbbell shrug is going to allow you to have more range of motion and more stabilizing action than the barbell in front of you, which leads to internal rotation. Because this is not very attractive as opposed to someone who is back and strong. Because, believe it or not, your traps run down your back. They are part of your back. They are not actually part of your shoulders. Mind blowing. Feel free to have a really ridiculous looking face the entire time. If you're not doing that, you're not doing it right. You're not trying nearly hard enough. Be a hardo with shrugs. <sighs> this is an important exercise because there are so many people that get stuck halfway through their bench press. So, because at this point you've lost your momentum. So, what are you gonna do? The dumbbell floor press we're focusing on, you can't go here. So, you start with the momentum and you have to push your way through this time. Take those. Yeah, I'm telling you. Careful, there's a spider. Stop it. <laughs>